Transform 100 gold or transfer your cards. Mm, I want to transfer your cards. Let's do transform. Quick attack. Deal 3 damage. Gain 2 dexterity until the end of your turn. Deal 5 damage. Gain 3 dexterity until the end of your turn. This is pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Enhance. Each turn, upgrade a random card in your discard pile. Upgrade 2 cards. Wow, that's actually extremely good. I mean, but I paint another run afterwards. I don't actually like. I guess I'm just more curious than other people. Maybe that's a fault of mine. I'm just more curious about outcomes. Charge shot. Retain. Deal 5 damage plus 5 for each turn this was retained. Really? So you just retain it, hold on to it. And this works with strength, right? Oh, and you upgrade it to 7. So you just hold on to it. And it does 7. That's pretty crazy. She plays her. Deal 4 damage, then deal 4 damage to all enemies. That works with strength, but this is really good, actually. I'm not sure if it, if it does multi-hit or not. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this. Let's just hold on to it. And we'll hold on to attack mode as well. Both of these. Ooh. Does it tell me how many turns I retained it for? Does it tell me? Quick attack is actually extremely good. Heavy bolt. Do 15 damage, discard two random cards, then draw two cards. This is not bad with enhance, because enhance um, upgrades random cards in your discard pile, and then you draw again. Back up, choose a non-rare card from your hand, add two copies on top of your draw pile. Choose a non-rare from your hand and add two copies. So what if I just do backup on charge shot, right? And just have three of them retaining and gaining energy. Uh, I want to do it. Obviously, I think... I think Metal Shell is really good. But what if you just do backup, hold on to these things, or even hold on to these things? Be interesting. Let's do attack mode. So now we're definitely 100% going to cycle our defenses. No hicieron hablar a Gemma en español. No, no entiendo español muy, muy bueno. Yo entiendo un poquito, pero entiendo más que habla y que hablo y. The, uh, the stream is in English. When, uh, cycle. When cycled, all enemies take 2 damage. All enemies take 2 damage. Put a laser core into your discard pile. It only cycles once, though. Hmm. 
Are there many mods? Uh, if you go to exclamation point STS mods, you can see all the mods. I think electric is really good. Who's the boss? Hmm. What's up, Snow Monkey? Am I Spanish? Oh, I'm half Cuban and half European. I don't, I'm not really, sp I guess I, I have a Hispanic, or yeah, Hispanic, Hispanic background, but I, I wouldn't consider myself Spanish because I don't actually speak it. I'm not fluent in Spanish. I wasn't raised Spanish. The wish mod got upgraded. Awesome. I'm going to try the wish mod. All right. But we're going to, because we, we were streaming for longer before. Right now, we our, our thing crashed. So we're going to do a little bit more contract, learn a little bit more, and then we're going to figure something else out. Boom, 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 boom. Laser person is strong with enhancer. I don't know, because when it upgrades, it's like... I guess it's a zero cost card, but if the fight goes on long enough, this is going to take a, sp a space of another card. Hey, thank you, Snow Monkey. Let's try it out. I think, for the most part, it's not a big deal because the fight has to go on for some time for that. Ooh, charge shot got upgraded, which I really wanted to do. Very nice. I think it's just plus seven per turn, so it's not like strength multiplier. It's just seven and then seven, seven, seven. You know what I mean? The strength will affect the total amount. So let's say I held it for three turns. That's 21 damage, right? Strength's going to make that 21 plus X strength. It's not going to be, it's going to gain that much more per strength. You understand what I mean? It's just going to add it to the total, which you guys probably already knew, but I just kind of got that right now. And I'm like, okay, so it's not that OP and it doesn't do multi-hits. It's just like a big collective. I mean, for one mana, it's still doing a lot of damage. Choose a non-rare. Oh, you can retain this. Oh my God. I want to try these things. I want to try this. Yeah, playing it for free is a, is a fallacy, though, right? Because you're not really playing it for free. You're, Like I was saying, if the fight goes on long enough, that's going to end up taking the slot of something else. I do want to do... I do want to do charge shot, though. I, I think this is... This is cute. I think that's cute. <laughs> Card's color is so toxic. I think they could have, they could have chosen a better color. I agree. Ooh, laser core. Quick attack. Why not? Smack. So right now we have this just charging up. Charging up my lasers. I could technically kill this guy. So I don't get the dazed. Yeah, let's do it. Oh wait, I got it back. Wait, so the card retains its value? So it, it stays 21 for the rest of the fight? Or was that bugged? I played it, I drew it again, and now it's still 21. It's just like permanently 21. Which is kind of insane. I was I would have I would have assumed it would reset. Hmm, I don't know about that. I mean I'm not complaining, but very nice. Charge right for the win. So we got Ancient Potion, which is really good with this class. We got Isolate, which is really good for boss fights and my charge shot shenanigans. When you gain block, deal 3 damage to the lowest HP enemy. That's kind of good. It's like Juggernaut, but controlled. I'm going to do Isolate. What's the, up what's the upgrade of this? Just zero? All right, I think it's about time we do this, right, to keep that going. Or we can do Enhance. I think that's pretty good. Charge charges. Yeah, I don't know if that's intended, though. That's kind of weird that it didn't reset. We'll try it again. I like defense mode. Especially against the Guardian, because you want consistent defense. But technically, we just, yeah, technically what we could do is just... 
do the backup thing and just get blocks and we're the deck's complete like the deck is done oh i should have done another attack because quick attack gives me more dicks no no quick attack's only one time thing we got the backup and we got a lot of dexterity so we're not scared Very nice, very nice. Attack mode? Let's kill this guy. I have lethal. Oh my god. Quick attack is really good. Gatling gun. We saw how scary this could be, especially we have isolate already. I mean, it's a pretty scary card. Now, do we have anything that can synergize with that? Technically, what we could do is... We could do... Backup on attack mode, attack mode, Gatling gun. With isolate. But it's... Yeah, this is a really crazy card. But maybe I don't want to do it. Maybe I just want to do like a little quick attack. I can do accumulate and get even more charge shots. How about that? Yeah, I think we're good. I like quick attack because the dexterity is really nice. Since we, since we have a core, like since we have this right here, it's beneficial to upgrade this because it that gives me three dexterity for free, pretty much. That's really good. Oh, Eric, you don't have to time him out. I don't, I don't mind. I, I embrace... When people say things like that, like the... I don't know, unless, you're unless you're just making a statement, if yeah, if, if you tell anybody out, you probably didn't have to. I'm not scared of uh, internet trolls, you know? I like to let them say their thing. Maybe we can give them some love, some perspective. If not, I mean, okay, if it gets bad, it gets bad. Mm. Well, there's charge shot, but I kind of want to end this. Oh, we can do d defense mode. Here we do defense mode. But now I can't do the um, backup on charge shot. Do we need to? I don't think so. Because you think about it, uh, this guy is the one I need to kill because he runs away. But this guy on the right, I can probably kill him. Well, I, I start, I'm not, and now I'm cycling my strikes because of a negative strength, so that's pretty good. We do back up now, actually. I actually don't have to do anything here. <laughs> I probably could and wouldn't get in trouble. What do you mean by that? I don't like the sound of that. Exhaust your hand, draw three cards. Draw five cards. Eh, interesting. If a target intends to attack, gain seven block, otherwise deal seven damage. Nine, nine. If it intends to attack, gain nine block. Otherwise, deal 9 damage. So this is a versatile card. If they're attacking you block, they're not, you're dealing damage. Ah, uh, that's whatever. I like the blur. Especially since we have some dexterity things. So I'm gonna do this just for the dexterity sake. Remove or heal. Okay, we will remove another strike. I like that. I like that. Now, upgrading. We're gonna upgrade... I suppose isolate, so this combo was a little bit easier to get off. It's either wordplay or Yu-Gi-Oh cards. 
So by doing this, I'm going to have 4 dexterity for this whole fight. If I do this... Wait, I fucked up. Defense mode. Damn it. Defense mode loses strength and that immediately takes the artifacts. Should have thought about that. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. I do want to do attack mode. It's to make me lose dexterity. I don't like losing dexterity. But I also want to make sure this guy doesn't do his thing. I mean, I could do explosive pot. I don't mind using potions. We're pretty good. I mean, we use two potions. This not ideal. Got charge shot, right? So the whole thing we want to do is just bike up charge shot. And we're just going to... It's going to one shot this guy. We just literally sit here firing our lasers. Ooh, well, this is a little bit awkward. I actually want to do defense mode so I don't draw these strikes. Yeah, we don't want to draw those strikes, so we wanted to get negative, um, negative strength, actually. So defense mode is imperative. So now we're not going to draw strikes, and then what's going to happen is... It should be pretty easy to just defend constantly. Now, I could just attack with this, because these apparently don't reset, so... Like, things like this... That's insane. If I had suppressive fire, then... Oh my god, it's so much block. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I can just do this, because they don't reset. Calipers would be nuts right now. We got backup again. Wait, backup... Wait. Back... What? So let's just do constant blurs. Like, this is like Caliper in its own way. We talked about Caliper, here it is. Except for the strike only cycles once. You know, we're learning things the hard way in life. We're learning things the hard way. I knew that too. I didn't knew I didn't know that I knew it until I knew that I knew it when I saw that it happened. The second run. So where the hell is suppressive fire when you need it so I can actually utilize all this block that I have? Man. The idea was sound, the execution not so much. But charge shot's still doing pretty good. In fact, charge shot's probably gonna be lethal very soon. Matter of fact, if I back up this charge shot, don't we just win? Because this is already scaled up. Let me see. Am I gonna draw the scaled up version? Oh my god, look at all this damage. It doesn't seem like a lot because it's red numbers, a little bit hard to see, but this is 56, 49, 49, 32. Huh. Charge Shot is really strong, Anthony. Anthony, we're seeing this. I know, it's crazy. When a card is retained, game three block. Doesn't this make a lot of sense with what my deck is doing? Isn't this just the perfect card? My god. My god. I, I, I'll do wipe me statue. It's crazy, right? Isn't Bunker just like, hey, GG. So we have Charge Shot, we have Bunker. What are we gonna... Uh, that's it. Oh, wait. Is this considered retain? Is this considered retain? I'd actually want to discard my hand, though. I actually do want to discard my hand. Um, the curses seems a little impactful in a bad way. So I'll do might be statue. I don't, I, runic pry was interesting, but I think not discarding would mess me up in some, some areas. Winning but not even playing. <laughs> I literally don't have to play anything, and I'm already winning. Well, I definitely have to play this stuff first. Let's do... 
I don't want to do too many elites, because that's one way. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer, right? And elites is a good way to reinforce that. Let's, let's give it a whirl, though. Let's see how we do. So I could um, save the artifact for his thing, or I can just do this, get the dexterity. I got charge shot. Bunker. Oh, I could have an isolate here with blur. That's cool. Look at that blur. Back up. So with this, I'm going to be doing, um, 30, 51, plus, uh, 6, 57. See, I still have the, the prom where I'm not actually, oh, but if I retain cards, don't I just get block? Oh my god. I got to upgrade bunker and I win the game. Isolate, 42, 52. Oh my. Retain. What? Another retain card? Wait, what if I just keep this? Huh. Huh. Let's try it out. Swap your strength and dexterity. Swap your strength and dexterity. More retaining. <laughs> Wait, do I get artifacts? Artifacts! Oh, more out of. Oh my god. Yeah, that's really good. This is kind of cool. Swap your strength and dexterity? That's kind of cool. I'm gonna s just remove another strike. Well, the strike cycles, right? Don't I want to remove defense? Well, I'm gonna be retaining a, a massive amount, actually. Let's do- let's do more- more retaining. Once we get Bunker out, we're feeling pretty good. Back up on charge shot. Now, the only problem here is... Taking some damage. Which obviously sucks. I'm firing my lasers right now. Well, we could get a lot of... Well, okay, here's the thing. Yeah, we're taking damage, that's fine. But we're going to have a lot of d defense at the end of this. Alright, so obviously it takes a few turns to get set up. So things like Anchor and stuff would be useful. This guy looks like he might even get away with this. He might even get away with this. I'm going to kill him. Hmm. Wait, technically I could just call into charge shot and they were they're gonna die regardless, right? See this guy might be hard to kill because I don't if I don't draw charge shot. I might have been premature. Yeah. Whoops, my bad. Oh, should we lost some gold? Electric armor. Cycle of dexterity is less than one. Gain thorns equal to your dexterity. What? Let me just think about this for a second. So you're telling me I could fully block 
for shit ton of them out. And I'll have thorns that are potentially a 15, 16. Mmm. Seems good. Seems really good, considering it exhausts. And cycles when you're not... Okay. Well, I'm always gonna... Not cycle it because I have smooth stone, but... Yeah, it's pretty nuts. So bunker, to me, is really good. Yeah, that's... Hmm. I should be using my potions. What's up, Lowcraft? Bunker, backup, charge shot. So technically, if I do bunker, I'm getting... 12 block for nothing, right? Oh, there we go. 16 block for nothing. All right, bunker. I call your bluff. And I'm bunkering down. Oh my lord. So right now, let me see what I'm going to have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 4 is 24. 24 block. And I'm scaling damage at the same time. 24 block, and I'm scaling damage at the same time. Now, let's, let's keep in mind, guys. We just got 7 dexterity, right? Which, because of the artifact that we have, stays. And now we're going to get thorns for that same amount with electric. And that thorn just goes away, right? So I play it. Oh, look. Well, I can do defense mode first. Oh, look. Ten thorns. Oh, what? What do you know? That's 24 block. Oh, is that a blur? That's a blur. Ten thorns, rather. And now we have what? It's like a shit ton of damage. Oh, we can do it even more. That's hilarious. Um. Oh, wait. Let's do some more charge shots. I'm firing my laser. Oh, now we need shield bursts. Oh, get on top of it. Oh, hello. Okay. I kind of like suppressive fire, double force field instead. Now we'll do this. We got 50 damage here. All right, and another 50 over here. Actually, I didn't think about this. Oh, we get blocked for retaining, so I'm not actually worried about anything. Never mind, I was scared for a sec. Turns out he's gonna kill himself. Cool. I don't need this stuff. This fight might be rough because they are, um... Back up and forceful? No, I don't, I'm not going to waste. But this might be rough just because... They, I don't I just don't... I take some time, basically. And they're going to get rid of my artifacts. Mm. What if I do back up on quick attack? Nah. Might be a good time to do electric armor, I suppose. That's like, still a decent amount of thorns. We stopped the vulnerable. Defense mode, charge shot. So defense mode. Defense. Backup charge shot. Well, can't I kill that guy actually with attack mode charge shot? I could, can I? Where's bunker when you need it? I could have killed him. No, I couldn't have. Yes, I could have. I would. I would have... No, I couldn't have. <laughs> okay, no more. I should have done enhance first. Bunker. Ah, that's perfect. I need a bottle bunker, yep.
So we get what? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, uh, 24 block passively again. I, I might as well do this, but. We are getting wounds, but since all this is retained, it doesn't really matter that the wounds are a thing. Considering. They're never going to discard my hand for me. What's that six trinket we have? It's called Souvenir, uh, Clockwork Souvenir. We get an artifact at the beginning of turn. Sorry, the beginning of combat. Oh, we have lethal, don't we? All right, so the only thing is that's the problem right now is that we're taking a lot of damage in the beginning. I, another blur, but I, honestly, I don't even want another blur. Like, it's good to have another blur. Actually, quite nice to have another blur. Yeah, I can do a shrink deck next. How long since Arcade Dungeon? Uh, very soon. Yeah, artifact is a lot of value. Artifacts a lot of value. Like, Panacea is a very good card. A little underrated. Especially with all the new potions that the they added to the main game. I'll do another blur. That's nice. I'm gonna rest just because I... Well, what's what would be a good upgrade? I'm gonna rest just because I'm taking a lot of damage. I think that Slavers was probably one of the harder fights, but so could... The Book of Stabbing can be kind of difficult. Take the boot, whatever. Do we even want another elite? Eh, we'll do it. It's funny that the champ's gonna die, but I'm just gonna sit there and the champ's just gonna die. I can do more thorns and make him kill himself, pretty much. I could make this much bigger, but I don't want to waste too much time either. Yeah, it's my puppy. It's my little doggy. It's a doggy cam. Bunker. Back up. Charge shot. I think we have lethal. Okay, if we don't have lethal, what we do have at least is him doing thorns and then we have lethal next turn, right? So this is gonna be what? 16 block, we're good. After he attacks himself with thorns, we should have lethal. Quite so. Quite so. Another ancient pot, that's great. Another electric armor, when you play a card, draw a card, works three times per turn. When you play a card, draw a card. Huh. That's really good with uh, some of these zero-cost cards. A quick attack, isolate, laser core, you know what I mean? But I think that's not good for my deck. I think electric armor is probably just better. Although, if you think about it, I guess it's the champ, you don't really want to... Put too many thorns because you don't want him to kill himself see just yet until cycle armor your cycle charge shot is ready. I'm not really playing stuff exactly, so I think I'll do another electric armor. I do want to go for an elite. We'll we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it for an elite. Ooh, if only that was battle tornado. Gain 12 block, apply two vulnerable to all enemies. Hmm. Let's remove. Let's remove something. <laughs> That's the attack you're talking about? What's that attack called? What was, what was it called? Uh, Oppo? Do you want to remove or want to save your money? Because this is going to be cycled for the most part pretty much. Well, of course it's the slavers again. Alright, but this time we might get better, right? Because we do got charge shot earlier on. We have a 
Quick attack with defense mode. So we have a lot of dexterity. Roughly. And this is charging up early. So maybe we can get a nice uh, early kill on one of these guys. We have no artifacts. So this guy's... Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, we have artifact potion. What am I talking about? Uh, so let's do this. Bunker. Back up. Oh, but then we have quick attack. Yikes. So I shouldn't play quick attack, otherwise the artifact's not going to get blocked. Oh, probably the artifact's not going to block him, I mean. Yeah, we're not playing quick attack. Okay, now we should have lethal on the guy in the back. And we have great defense. Is it viable? I think it's, yeah, it's probably viable, but I, I just like the charge strike backup because it, it's just scaling up really nicely. And for the champ, that'd be nice. But you could do electric armor backup, technically. Yeah, you could. I mean, backup doesn't exhaust. So you can back up many different things. That's why backup is a little bit, needs to be looked at a little bit. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a little nutty. Backup doesn't exhaust. More electric armor. Well, we just win. That's 14 reflects. We'll rest again. Even oh, we got pillow. Makes the right. Ooh, crippling shot. If this is unblocked, it's 99 weak. This is really good with my strategy of just let them kill themselves or just scale up. I, I like it. Now we could rest. But I feel like we only need like one or two or three turns and then we're not taking any damage. So I would rather maybe upgrade. I don't have that many good upgrade targets. Oh, this is innate. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. That actually goes really well with my wanting to survive the first couple turns. Yeah, I'll do it. I like it. But this is also a lot of health. Ah. 40 HP. 76 health. I think we're going to be fine. I'm going to upgrade this. Innate and retain. A very interesting combo. So, what do we got powers wise? Panic when not in an upgraded card cycles. Exhaust it when a non upgraded card cycles. I don't know if I like that. So what cards do I have that would be exhaust? I guess the laser core? That's fine. Whatever. What else would ex uh, cycle? Oh, you can cycle my uh, strike as well. Cool. Oh, that's not, that's not bad. It would exhaust my strike. I only have one strike to exhaust. It would exhaust my laser core and my strike. Dun, dun, dun. I can do defense mode now and use the, uh, the artifacts. Or I could try to save these artifacts for quick attacks, which would be even better. You know what? I kind of like the idea of... Because these are retained, I don't have to, you know, settle down on that yet. Bunker. And here's what I was talking about. Quick attack. That's pretty good. I mean, I probably can make it a little bit juicier. Nah, it's fine. Oh, well, I should utilize the artifacts before he does his little thing. I just thought about that. I just exhausted my laser core. Goodbye. Don't do enhance. So we have 16 passive block right now. Crippling shot. Does that deal a 99 weak? Very nice. We can you back up on electric armor? Because, you know, we didn't get. Oh, well, backup is. Backup is retain. So maybe I could have. 
Hold on to that. Do I want electric armor? I don't know. I'll play it. I'll play two of them. I'm a little worried though. I don't want to give this guy too much... Too many thorns so he basically does too much self damage because I want to charge up the charge shots. A lot of block. You could do backup again on the electric armor and make him really hurt himself, right? We need to increase our dexterity first, though. Thanks for the follow, Elther. I guess it's about time we do defense mode. We're gonna need all this passive block anyway, so we're not too worried. But we can do electric armor. So now he's just doing 15 thorns. And I'll do back... Oh, that was actually my last electric armor. I should have done back up. My bad, guys. Whatever, this is going to be cool as well. Alright, so these are just going to be scaling. Oh, we have another electric armor. I was lying. Did he get a Oh, Snow Monkey, thanks for the follow. So let's do suppressive fire just for the, like, we just do this for the blur. And because of bunker, we're gonna, you know, that's crazy. Oh, I love it. And what we gotta do is get isolate, so we just isolate. So we're not gonna do it now, but technically this would be, uh, dead fellow thanks for the follow. This would be 48, 29. It's a 70, 77, 144. 154, sorry, 154 damage we have right now. Not bad. Do we keep backing up, or do we say, you know what? Well, what if we do isolate? Does it stack? Does isolate stack to do, like, times four, six, eight? If that's what happens, then... We do back up on defense mode, but not having strength, obviously, still hurts the charge shot a little bit. We do want to try on an isolate, see what happens. Let's see what happens. Isolate doesn't remove itself, I don't think. You sure it removes itself, really? He's really warning me not to. Now I'm really curious. Is something extremely bad gonna happen? It lasts for two turns. It's like Phantasmal Killer. It's like Phantasmal Killer. Oh my god, look at the damage! Wait. That's... 184... 290. Almost there. It's last it's like It's like Phantasmal Killer. Electric armor, defense mode, defense, electric armor, suppressive fire. That's 26 thorn. So we're going to do isolate, isolate, right? So right now we've got, oh, we're weakened. That's why our damage is kind of shitty. But next turn, we're not going to be weakened. So we're going to definitely wait till next turn. In fact, we're going to do backup, even though we're not going to have extra energy. Actually... Did we attack this turn? We did it. So we're going to have Art of War, which means that next turn we're going to have four charge shots and double damage with no weaken. So let's just take a look at that. That's going to be, uh, yeah, lots of damage. That's a lot of damage. Reserves. You know, we can actually utilize reserves if we upgrade it, technically. A double bunker. Can I just quit the game? Can we quit the game?
Why are the most broken decks the decks that create absurd amount of block and make you invincible? It's just, it seems to be the most broken decks. You can do Astrolab, Lizard Tail, or Eternal Feather. I kind of like Eternal Feather just to get some more healing. Allows me to upgrade Bunker if you're okay about it. Maybe uh, upgrade the Force Field. The alternative is to do Lizard Tail, even though I don't know if it's ever going to get procced. And there's also an Astrolab, but. I guess I can get rid of the strike and I can get rid of the. I can get rid of laser core. I can get rid of laser core strike and defense. Oh no, you can't back up bunker bunker. Backup only does non rares. I can get rid of attack mode. That's true. Yeah, we can do Ashlab to get rid of attack mode, laser core. Overcharge. At the start of your turn, gain one energy and add a burn to your hand. Deal six damage and deal six damage. The target intends to block. I don't like any of these cards. Ugh. Let's remove both of those cards. I'm removing both of those cards if I can. A nice Febo. Enhance. Force field. Force field. I mean, I guess it's fine because we get energy. We need energy. But it's going to keep adding burns. And I don't... I don't the burns apply before retain. You know that, right? What's up, Ewan? How you doing, man? The burns apply before retain. That's the only problem. That's the only problem. Otherwise, I wouldn't mind it. No, but the burns apply before the uh, thing. What's up, Britt Thomas? How you doing, man? Isolate. Is Isolate doing some good damage? Not good enough. Damn, we're getting wrecked, man. Holy moly. Deck takes a while to get up there. I need bunker, man. I need bunker like bottled ASAP. Otherwise my block is significantly worse. I don't I like Vent Steam because I can get rid of some of these cards I don't like, which is like Street, Street Pitch, I don't really like it, so I can get rid of that and apply weak and vulnerable. It makes charge up better. Who's the boss by the way? Hmm, that's actually bad. I don't like a scale up like crazy. I'm gonna take this. Gimme Give me something good. Give me something good here. Bunker. Okay. Feeling good about this one. Nice for scenario. I'm doing pretty good, man. Relaxing. Where's my doggy? Yikes. This is this is gonna be scary. Alright, so that's a weaken. I'm gonna do ooh, see the thing is I wanna do backup charge up, but I also wanna kill this dude. And I can only do that with like Charge shirt suppressing. Hmm. Let's do this. Oh, this only procs at the beginning of my turn. It bring a pillow. All right, we're gonna get used out of it.
We'll kill this guy next turn. We'll kill him next turn. She got old version that doesn't have defects? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? You bought the game, right? But it's not, I'll take Carnage sometimes in the beginning if I need like an, an offensive pick, but usually I'll find something else before that. But yeah, I think Carnage is fine. Gain seven block, enemy loses two strength for the so turn up was not what I wanted. Doesn't actually help at all against this. They lose for the rest of the turn. Mmm. Battery acid. Mmm. None of this stuff helps me actually. Skippy skippy. Ah, okay, we want to remove well let's see. We got Whoa! Clockwork egg. What? What happens when you upgrade this? When you upgrade this, it adds an attack mode and a defense mode to your hand. Is this what I'm supposed to get? Is this the, the crazy card I'm supposed to get? He said, taking no questions. I don't know. I mean, it works a bunker, right? You need to be able to upgrade it to full. What happens if you upgrade it to full? What happens, what happens when you get uh, upgraded to full? The upgrade after, okay, if, it, if there's sort of really crazy upgrade after it, I'll take it. I don't mind. I'll, I'll do it. We have uh, we have what? We have enough. We have enough rest. Yeah, we can do it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I'm reserving come in handy. No, I want to remove, right? We want to remove... I think Street Blazer we're not going to be using that much, right? Overcharge. I don't know if I really want Overcharge because the burns kind of mess me up. Unless I'm just going to full retain deck, but I don't think that's going to be what I'm going to do. Well, before we remove... Wait, before I remove... Anything else we might want? Uh, there's Omamori. There is... The war paint, there is membership. Uh, it's removed, yes. Okay. There's another shop up there. I can move in again. Got bunker. And what's nice is that we, electric armor, it's going to be good in this fight. I'm a firing my laser. I'm a firing my laser. Force field. Enhance. Quick attack. Blur. Man, bunker, bunker, bunker. Seven block per card. Maybe I could just bunker and win this game against these guys. I mean, technically, we're getting so much block despite... Just being here. I mean, look at that. And that buys me enough time to get the charge shot with Isolate. Well, Isolate's not going to work on the boss. I'm actually really worried about this boss. Just a little bit. We do. Oh, maybe we do Electric Armor. Maybe that's the way we kill this boss. The electric Armor stuff. Mm, maybe. Hmm. 16 block. It's not bad. And calipers would be so good. I 
I ignored you. How did I ignore you? We're loading. Quick attack, electric armor. Ooh, 18 th thorns. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Me like, me like. Blur. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Hmm. Alright, isn't this lethal at this point? Yeah, it is. I've... What? They're gonna kill themselves. Let's just have some fun let them kill themselves. Cool. Alright, so we're upgrading Clockwork Dagger. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. You guys said this gets crazy. Whoa! Double your strength and your dexterity? I'm gonna have to get water. I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'm gonna really contemplate about this card. If that... Is doing... If that... So... If I look at this correctly... It doesn't exhaust, so I could technically use this again. And if that's the case, I know how we're gonna win now. But I'll be right back. I'm thinking thorns, I'm thinking a lot of dexterity, I'm thinking... Be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. Okay. Whoa! Wait. Okay. So this is very good as well with quick attack. But this is very good because this can get out of control, but it does take three. Here's the thing. I have bunker. I get blocked from bunker. That affords me time to play this and be okay. I think it's, I'm, I'm doing hammer down. Think about the potential. Well, we're going to upgrade clockwork egg. You guys told me to. Apparently this becomes insane. One cycle, gain two block. This is... Nah. Just keep removing. Just keep removing. I don't like the, uh, overcharge. I mean, now it helps with this hammer down. Well, if we have so much block, the, the burn's not gonna matter, right? If we have so much block, the burn's not gonna matter, but it does matter in the beginning. What else could I remove? I think Guard Core doesn't work with decks. I think it doesn't get scaled off decks. Maybe it does. If it does, that's insane. Does it scale off decks? It says block, and usually when it says gain two block, that usually means it scales with decks. So I think it works with decks. Because it because when it says gain two block or gain twelve block, it works with decks. So basically, this is just gonna cycle and give me decks. I mean it's giving me block for free. And that's actually really good with my deck because my deck wants to probably play a hammer down and get that this is really good. But then now I can't remove. Okay. Ah. Uh, I suppose we just take it? Do we need it? That's the question. Do we need it? Because it only becomes really good when it's uh, upgraded. When it's not upgraded, it's not as good. And we, again, our upgrades are monopolized by Clockwork Egg, apparently. Alright. Forget it. Forget about it. Alright, upgrade this again. Let's see how crazy this is, apparently. Gain three strength. Gain, gain three dexterity. Okay. If it, if it comes very expensive, I'm gonna be very upset, because I don't have energy. Let's see. Gain all three egg relics and a clockwork phoenix. Permanently remove this card from your deck. What's a clockwork phoenix? What is a Clockwork Phoenix? Now, this is something you want to get early. Because you get all the eggs. A Clockwork Phoenix. This is like some Harry Potter stuff. I need my Harry Potter glasses. We're about to e explore some deep, dark... Phoenixes. Harry, don't, don't, do not play the clockwork egg. You're not ready for the. Uh, I, oh, actually, I was gonna. Mm, is he trying to debuff me? He is. Hmm. Hmm. Bunker, bunker, bunker. We'll, we'll wait here. Actually, no, we won't. Is 
It seems worse. <laughs> it seems worse than the current version because the current version right now is actually giving me three dex and three dexterity, a uh, three strength. Like, I like that. But you know, we're gonna trust the chat. The chat says it's it gets OP. So we'll find out. Let's play it, guys. Your upgraded contract cards can now be mega upgraded outside of combat. Well, I w and that's that's cool. That's really cool. And if I got this early, I would have loved it. But do I even have time to mega upgrade? Okay, we have one mega upgrade we could do. What do we choose? What's the mega upgrade of this? Can I see the mega upgrade? Does anybody know? What's the mega upgrade of this stuff? What about this? What's the mega upgrade? Is it triple the damage? We can uh, mega bunker. Mega bunker. Enhance to enhance. Oh, we can mega upgrade enhance. Oh, no, that. But what if it just does upgrade three random cards and nothing else? Yeah, I don't think it's a mega. It's not going to say mega upgrade two random cards. It's probably going to be upgrade three random cards. Yeah, you got You just wasted your card. I think we should do. Um... Oh, I could have used the enhance. That's true. That's true, start from. I could have wasted. I could use enhance for the egg. That's true. Mmm. And I could have. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. You can't. You can't. It doesn't let me. So we'll find out. I guess I'll do it in a bunker. That sounds really good, Eric. That would be amazing. It's only out of combat, exactly. I'll see it out of combat. Okay, cool. We got that covered. Let's go. Carry on. Couldn't do a hammer down. Feels bad. Crippling shot, though. But does it, does it technically weaken because it's doing zero damage? I've made a lot of bad decisions right now. And they're all coming to bite me in the butt. Bum, 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 bum. Hammer down. It doubles your negative strength. Oh no! We cannot be in negative strength. That is a no-no. That is a no-no. Oh my god. You know, technically it's not that big of a deal because what we lack in strength will gain in thorns. Technically, you know what? I'm not too mad about this. We'll back this up. We'll do quick attack. We'll do some more thorns. Alright. That's cool. I lose strength. But damn it, I got thorns to back it up. Matter of fact, boom, boom, boom. Eat that. That's 51 damage per attack. The boss, what is it gonna do? What is, what is the boss gonna do to that? Actually, I just figured out the best way to win this. We're gonna do electric armor. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. 68 thorns. We got blurs for for days. That's game changing. It's game changing. Oh, by the way, this is doing pretty well. Let's see what this does. 108. You know, we actually have lethal because he attacks himself. Shit. Oh my god. Okay, let's drink this. Wait, why? Anthony, why can't I drink it? Why can't I drink it, Anthony? Why? That's okay. Uh, what I'll do is, um, we'll get rid of... We'll do this. We'll do that. That's cool. Alright. Let's drink. Oh, what the... What? Oh, it's actually not drinkable at all. Maybe it's only drinkable in combat? Yeah.
Okay, bunker. We gotta mega upgrade this. Mega upgrade. Quick attack. We're good. Oh, I should be used. No, we're good. Uh, what's up, Never Failure? This is called Replay the Spire. No, no, we're not playing Replay the Spire. We're doing the Construct mod. Construct. Yes, let's double down. Although Bunker's really good, but, you know, doubling downs are also really cool. And we're gonna make this guy get thorns to the face. So let's back this up. Mm-hmm. Defense mode. Let's get rid of this overcharge and then electric armor. Alright. Cool. So we do some electric so let's do some blur. Some some blur blur and then bam bam. And we have another one in our deck, right? No, it's the last one in my deck, so I'm I'm gonna hold on to this one. Although that's still 44 thorns. We'll hold on to it. Hammer down. Hammer down is really good with quick attack, quick attack, right? But then I don't want to take damage. I mean, it's really good. That's 34 dexterity. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Look at the electric armor. I should have waited for backup, huh? I mean, it doesn't really matter when our... We have suppressive fire. Actually, let's do backup suppressive fire, right? So blur for days, and then we just do this. And technically, we would win. Like, if we can do that against the boss, we should be able to win. Hammer down again. That's excessive. We could use charge shot too. It's 103 damage. It's not bad. Oh, we can make him vulnerable too. GG. Fruit juice. Skip all this. We don't want to do a second elite, right? I'm gonna try mega, mega upgrading the bunker. I, I, honestly, I think at this point I should rest though. So the mega upgrade's not gonna do anything for me. Unfortunately. And even this, like, hammer down. Mm, we need energy. How are we surviving with only three energy? Yeah, I think Hammer Down is probably worse for this deck than the Otter for Black. Uh, that, you know, it's because I don't have the energy for Hammer Down. So I'm getting. Yeah, it's better for me to play these. But Hammer Down can technically become crazy. If I, um... If I can get a lot of dexterity, like just once or twice, and then I do the, the thorns, that's what I was thinking. And it does get crazy, but it's a little slow. Like right now though, defense mode with electric armor is pretty good, but now I have no blocks I'm not retaining. So that's not good. Okay, we're definitely Regal Pillow. It's definitely a regal pillow moment. And I'm also gonna kill this girl, because this girl... This is actually quite sad. We're not dying, don't worry, don't worry. Everything's fine, everything's fine, don't worry. 
probably dying actually. Start worrying, start worrying. Oh no. If I Yep. Is there a reason why I didn't kill this thing right away? Wow, how do I throw this? How do I throw this? I'm such a bonobo. I didn't get to see the mega upgrade. Oh, shit. Oh, my list. Thanks for the to, uh, Twitch Prime, man. Oh, shit. That's the doggy cam that just fell. Oh, man. Yeah, but upgrading the Clockwork Egg, it was just... I wasted so, three campfires, right? Three campfires. It's okay. I can pick it as my starting relic now. That's true. You know what? Guys, here's the bright side. The sub sound is... Oh, shit! Now, here's the bright side, right? Because this is the Phoenix... Much like the Phoenix that rise from the ashes, I'm gonna rise from the ashes. We... we Upgraded this card three times, and it killed us. And I obviously played bad. But, the silver line is now we become the Phoenix, we rise up, and we can have mega upgrades on the next run. So think about the future. We'll leave you on a loss, as heartbreaking as it is. And uh, we'll, we'll use this as our starting relic, and maybe an even crazier run. Alright, that was my bad, though. Feels bad. Feels bad.